this is Stampy, and welcome to a Terraria Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's wonderful world. Today in this video, I am being joined, as I always am in my Terraria videos, by Elfa Lee. And Elfa Lee, what are you doing? Really? Is this, is this your morning exercise? You just go crazy around here? Oh, look at me go! Look at the way I sort of like crawl around. Oh, I'm like a bug. I'm like a spider or something crawling my way around. <laughs> I look like a like a villain from a superhero movie when I'm going around like this. No, I'm just getting stuck on everything now. <laughs> anyway, uh, in this video, what we're going to be doing is... Well, <laughs> if you saw the last video, you will know that we tried to defeat the wall of flesh. And we failed twice. And so... I've done a bit of research in effective ways of dealing with the wall of flesh and they suggest to build a big platform kind of like this bridge here. You see this bridge? They basically recommend building a platform like this across uh, the underworld. And so that way, instead of doing what I was doing in the last episode and falling in lava and getting stuck in things and trying to use a gravitation potion and flying up into lava and stuff, instead of that happening, we build one straight platform, then we can just run along and it can be chasing us and we can just be going, yeah, yeah, and like trying to swing at it as we run backwards along the platform. So we're going to go down to the underworld and build this big platform. But while doing that, we're also just going to explore the underworld and try and find uh, as many shadow chests as we can. Uh, so that way we can get some better loot and hopefully uh, restock with some better potions and things while we're at it. But before we do that, uh, let's go and read Lee's joke down here. And, and when, he, when he found this joke, he made himself laugh. So I'm hoping this is <laughs> going to be a good one. Why did the man with one hand cross the road? I don't know. Why did the man with one hand cross the road? To get to the second hand shop. <laughs> oh dear. I got to hand it to you, Lee. That one was pretty funny. You're pretty handy with these jokes. <laughs> oh dear. Round of applause. Luckily, I got two hands, so I actually can do a round of applause. Everyone, round of applause for Lee. <laughs> well done, well done, Lee. Anyway, let's go down, shall we? Do we have everything we need? I got plenty of wood to build the platform. I got a shadow key. And uh, I think that's about it. I might actually put on my mining helmet. That way I'm going to have a, a nice glow about me. And yeah, let's go down to the underworld. And fantasy, how are you doing, my old girl? Going to have one of her Stampede's Tasty Brews, are you? <laughs> what, what have you got to sell again? Oh, look at all this amazing stuff. Uh, let, let, let's take some stuff down with me. Should I take my bubble wand down with me? The underworld can sometimes be a bit of a dangerous, scary place. So if I take my bubble wand with me, I, if ever I get scared, I can just start blowing bubbles and that will hopefully cheer me up. So here we go. I've got my, my bubble wand on me as well. So I can go and have that here. And then on my way down, I can just go and do bubbles all over the place. Right, Lee, follow the bubbles. If you want to know which way to go, just follow the trail of bubbles. <laughs> Tell you what, Lee, I'm going to do the bubbles. You've got to go around behind me trying to pop as many of them as you can, okay? Your challenge is to pop every single bubble, but you've got to be quick. I'm doing a lot of them. Oh no, you're falling behind, Lee. Look at all these bubbles. There's a big pink one up there. <laughs> you've got to be as quick as you can. <laughs> oh dear, I'm not making it very easy for him. I'm just doing bubbles as quickly as I can. This is more fun though. This is a more fun way to travel around the world blowing bubbles. It's been ages since I've blown bubbles. I need to get I need to get something that can blow bubbles again. And I, I don't know, why are bubbles so amazing? I think it's popping them. I think having something that which is like bubbles own like only existence are to be popped, really. You know, they, they have no other purpose otherwise the, other, like, other than the amusement of popping them. And the people that enjoy them more than anyone else, well I shouldn't say people, the, the things that enjoy them more than anything else are dogs. If you have a dog, start blowing some bubbles and look at the dogs go crazy trying to bot pop them. They absolutely love it. <laughs> anyway, we're almost at the underworld, so I'm going to switch out my bubble wand for my knight's edge sword because uh, things are going to start getting deadly. And I don't know which direction to build the, the platform in because one time it went uh, from left to right and then the second time it went from right to left. So I don't know how you predict which way it's going to come. So I guess if we do uh, one big platform going either way. And oh, look at this big tower, tower here. Right, we need to make sure that uh, as we build it across, we're not going to bang into anything. So I think we want to do it uh, a little bit higher than this here. And do I have any stone on me or anything? I don't. Right, let me try and make some... I should have probably done this before I went down. But I need to make some some platforms first. And look, I can make some some ebony platforms. Right, let's just make a whole load of these. And what is, what is shooting at me? Is there something down here? 
Right, let me actually, I might fly up if I can. Oh, there's a fire imp. Right, let me try and fly up if I can. Can I get to the top? Oh, no, I just can't reach. Right, I think, I'm, I think I'm stuck down in the underworld now trying to make these platforms. Let's try and take out all of these things. And then I can try and make some wooden platforms and we can start building them. I, I always forget just how dangerous the, the underworld is. So uh, let's go and make as many of these as we can. And what are these ones? Uh, Ebonwood ones. And oh look, I can make a, a mahogany workbench as well. I might make a, a few of them. There's all different types of wood now in the game, which is more exciting. And whoa, okay, that is probably uh, certainly enough uh, wooden platforms for now. And can I just place them anywhere up here? I oh, know I can't. Have you got any... um? Can you come down here a second, Have you got any stone or anything you can throw at me? Or anything that I can place? Okay, I guess I can just gather up uh, some of this ash here. And then if we build that tower up a little bit higher, then, like, the plan is to ho hopefully only have one very long straight platform. And uh, there's a few kind of tool bits it would bang into. Uh, so I want this platform to be uh, as high as possible. And if we need to jump up a few times, it doesn't matter too much. Uh, but it'd be good to have as straight uh, a platform as we can. So let's try and uh, do this quite high up if we can. So if I do uh, hold this here and then just keep jumping and placing, uh, hopefully I'm going to be able to build up a little bit there. And when building a crossly, uh, try and use uh, wooden platforms. Uh, so that way if we need to like duck underneath it for any reason, uh, then we can do that. Right, so how high am I now? There we go. This should be just about now. Uh, we're very high up. And so let's go and start building the uh, the platform along this way then, shall we? Um, I don't know how to... I don't know whether you should go left and I go right or whether we should stick together. What do you reckon? But uh, what we want to make sure we do is as going along... Uh, we want to make sure that uh, we keep ducking down to see if there's any chest, uh, any shadow chest behind us. Tell you what, Lee, do you want to start placing the platforms along? And I could, I could try and defend you, and every now and then hop downstairs to see if there's any any shadow chest down there. So while you're making some platforms, I guess I'll I'll keep building uh, along like this. And I guess if we just work together, uh, we should get this done built very quickly. I'm just hoping we're not building it too high is my only worry. Uh, but I think we should be fine because even if it is underneath, we can like attack down. Like like this and uh, make sure that we we hit the eye it's just if we did it any lower i know we'd be banging into like all of the mountains and sorry lee i'm not doing a, <laughs> a very good job of defending you am i and i guess i can put a few torches down is it gonna let me place the torch uh no it's not it doesn't matter too much anyway like the lava kind of glows well enough anyway so it doesn't matter too much all right let me go for a quick hop down here and just see if there's any shadow chest and oh that was me nearly me straight into some lava i think we'd travel most of this way before but i remember when we were running away, I, uh, I saw a few shadow chests on my way. And uh, I always remembered that I need to, to come back and look for them. So if you carry on building along there, uh, I'm going to go and try and find some shadow chests, Lee. And then I'm going to go and rejoin you in a minute. And this bone serpent is rather terrifying me. <laughs> it's kind of like a, an onyx, isn't it? You know, from Pokemon. It kind of looks like that, but a more scary, deadly version of it. Right, if I go and try and make my way along here. And sorry, I know I'm running ahead of you here, Lee. Hopefully you're not going to uh, run out of wood. I'll be back with you in one second. I just don't want to miss any of these chests down here. Because you get some some really good stuff down here. It's actually where I got my, my Sun Fury from. was actually down uh, from here somewhere. Uh, I can't seem to be able to find anything down here. There's just a, there's a lava slime and uh, a few hell bats as well down here. And uh, quite a lot of these these buildings that you can go inside of, and they've they've retextured them as well, haven't they? They all look they all look different. These building be, yeah, buildings now compared to uh, what they they used to look like. And where were those chests? I remember there was at least two of them that I ran into when I was running away from the. Um yeah, when I was running away from the Wall of Flesh. Because I remember telling myself, like, nope, now's not the time to loot chests because I'm fighting the Wall of Flesh. But now uh, is the time for looting chests because uh, we're going to be preparing to fight the Wall of Flesh again. And, oh, look, I think I need to go over here. These, these are one of the, the high places that I was talking about. This is why I wanted to build the, the platform so high up. Uh, so these kind of things uh, wouldn't end up uh, getting in the way. And I will be back with you in a minute, Lee. I just want to find one chest, and then I'm going to go and uh, try and rejoin you. Well, at least, I've, at least I've seen there's no chest down here, so I guess I can go and uh, head back to Lee and help him uh, carry on building across. Maybe I'll take the reins for a little bit. Right, my big challenge now is uh, to try and get back to him without falling in any lava. And oh, I just about landed in the right place. Uh, luckily, those hellstone don't burn me anymore, and I think I'm uh, getting quite close to him. If I stand on here... Uh, I should be able to get a, a big boost up and be able to get right up to him. I can see the, the head getting bigger, so where he is. And hello, Lee. Hello, sorry. I'm back again now. I'm back again. I can take over for a little bit if you want, if you need to, to make a few more platforms. So if you just try and uh, keep me safe for a little bit. 
I'll just go and carry on building along here, and then I'm going to hop back downstairs. It's good. With the, the shadow chest, uh, you need a, a shadow key to open them, uh, which you find in dungeons, uh, but you only need one shadow key, and you can open as many chests as you want, uh, so you don't run out of shadow keys ever, which is very handy. And oh, there's all things all over here. I'll right, just go try and take up this hell bat if I can. <laughs> this is going to make battling it so much easier, but I'm going to need to buy uh, a load more ammo, and I also want to get a, a lot more fallen stars as well. The, um... The Star Cannon uh, seemed to be one of the most effective and strongest weapons against it, but I had like 70 Fallen Stars, and I wasted all of them in my failed attempts trying to take out the Wall of Flesh, so <laughs> we might have to, to run around at night on the surface. And I've also been thinking... It might be a good idea to set up some farms and things before we switch uh, because all of the the biomes get taken over by the the bad biomes it might be good just to make a few like sort of safe refuges uh, for like jungles and uh, a few other biomes as well it might actually be uh, a good idea to build a few of those things before we switch but all right i've run out now lee uh, do you want to go and carry on building for a bit and i'm going to go and try and make a, a few more platform platforms i should be able to make uh, quite a lot more i had like almost a thousand pieces of wood before i started here and i love that sound i love that sound of you making just absolutely loads of something so uh, here we go we can carry on uh, building our way along here i guess we can uh, we can team up a bit i think we've pretty much uh, built back to where i was uh, from where I ran ahead. So in a minute, Lee, I'm going to go and hop back down again and go for uh, another wander just to make sure uh, we're not going to go past any more of the uh, the shadow chest. So yeah, I think I might hop down now and uh, go around exploring on the surface for a bit. And if you just carry on building there, and oh, that was nearly me dropping down straight into lava. And there's lava slimes all over the place. And another imp down there. Those imps are, are difficult because they don't just run at you. They kind of stay back a bit just shooting fireballs. And unless you uh, go out your way to try and take them out, uh, they're just going to stay there just shooting at you for ages and they don't hurt too much but if they're there just shooting you for a while they're gradually going to wear you down and all oh, look I'm getting really hurt that I really needed uh, to have that whole health potion I only had a, a few hearts left so I'm gonna have to be uh, very careful going down here uh, on the surface and try uh, to be careful not to land in any huge pits of lava just like the one down there <laughs> unlike the lava slime I do get hurt when I hop into the lava all right let's try and climb my way up here I think we've got to be getting close uh, to where the the chests are I think I hadn't explored this way properly uh, because there was those vases there and normally whenever I come across any of the vases I smash them so I probably uh, haven't been too far down this direction I was able to get a few more hellfire arrows and there we go I took him out and he dropped a, a few hearts as well so I was able to get uh, a few more of my hearts up but here's an arch demon oh actually something else that I want to do is I want to try and get a few more uh, voodoo dolls as well because uh, that way I can keep spawning in the wall of flesh and uh, hopefully be able to um, yeah if, if I have another failed attempt uh, that means I'll be able to spawn another one in straight away again so uh, I will hopefully not run out of them I always feel bad though because every time you throw in the the guide voodoo doll uh, it takes out one of your guides back at the house and I always feel a little bit bad about doing that like especially whenever a new guide will just show up like hi I'm a guide how may I help you and then yeah he ends up getting almost immediately taken out I can't help help but <laughs> uh, feel quite bad about doing that. that's what I need to do though it's the the only way I can do it and let's try and land here and then jump over well, that was quite good I did quite a good job of not going in the lava there but these things are absolutely destroying me and there's a hell bat down there he's run away is he going to come back up here he comes. No, I, I think he's just there. Like He's like a pinball just bouncing off all of the, the sides of the wall there. But here's an archdemon. I'm going to have to try and take him out before carrying on. And then we should hopefully uh, be coming across one of our first chests that should be hopefully somewhere around here. Oh, I nearly fell down in that lava there. I need to be, uh, make sure I don't run out of the thrust. You can only thrust for a certain amount of time and you don't want to get stuck falling in the lava without being able to, to jump out. And where are those shadow chests? I remember running into, into loads of them before, but I can't find them uh, anywhere around here at all. Were they down here somewhere? I mean, there's loads of vases. And actually, getting bombs might be a good idea. It might actually be a, a good idea. Now we've got this platform, uh, we could actually throw a load of bombs that would do uh, lots of damage and they might be a, a good way of taking out the, the wall of flesh as well. So it's going to be uh, handy to grab onto as many of them as we can. And sorry, Lee, I know I'm running ahead. I can see his little head there getting smaller and smaller in the distance. <laughs> There's uh, some more vases and stuff down here. So I'm pretty sure uh, that I've not looked around this area properly. But where are all the, the shadow chests? I'm getting worried that I've, I've ran past one of them. Let me look in the map and let's see how far I've gone. We've travelled pretty far. Look at the size of that platform all the way along the top there. 
And I think we should uh, also build one in the other direction as well. And here we go. I have found myself a shadow chest. Right, I think this might have been the first one that I discovered. And there, I've opened it up. And oh, I got a cool thing. I got, I got a thing that looks really awesome. But oh no, there's one of these little imp things down here. Oh, don't fall in the lava. Do not fall in the lava. That was scary down there. Am I, am I on a platform? There we go. I'm on a platform here. Right, I seem to be relatively safe. Uh, let's go and have a have a look at what I was able to pick up then. It looks cool. I got a, a dark lance. Uh, it looks pretty powerful as well. Let me go pick up the, the Dark Lance and see what it does. Oh, look at the size of this thing. Look, this thing is absolutely massive. <laughs> oh, it looks kind of unwieldy, to be honest. All right, let me go and pick up those torches down there. All right, let's go and try and uh, take out some people with my new Dark Lance. This might actually be a good weapon. I've never even heard of this thing before. <laughs> I like the look of it, though. It looks pretty awesome. And I don't think I can pick up the chest. There we go. I can go and grab the chest. And let me go uh, back to Lee now, because I feel quite bad. And let's be reunited with him. Uh, but we are going to carry on going in this direction to see if we can uh, find anything else. And can I get up here? Am I going to be able to get to him? Nearly. He's getting very close. Right. Hello, Lee. I'm back again. Oop. <laughs> one, one more go and I'll be able to get up. There's just a, a few hell bats down here I'm going to have to deal with. Then I'm going to show you my new awesome looking weapon. It's so hard to hit them with it, though. <laughs> I think this is going to be good for taking out bigger enemies. And hello, Lee. Look, check this thing out. Whoa. So it does 27 damage. It's got fast speed. So it's uh, not quite as good as the Sun Fury. But I can do it really quickly. Which uh, might actually make it uh, even better than the Sun Fury. And there we go. There's uh, another Sun Fury as well. And oh, looks like we're going to have to use our weapon soon. There's an, uh, a voodoo. Oh, here we go. Here's a voodoo demon. Can I get the voodoo doll? There we go. I managed to, to grab the voodoo doll as well. Awesome. Right, let's go and uh, carry on building the platform along. I seem to remember uh, that the... Um uh, the next shadow chest uh, was quite near to that first one. So if we keep uh, going along a little bit further this way, uh, we should be able to uh, to very easily go and grab the, the next shadow chest, uh, which should be underneath uh, me around here somewhere. And I think we're going to build going in the other direction. Uh, I think we'll just build that without recording, so we don't have to do it for too long. But I am going to still uh, be looking out for any more shadow chests. And oh, there's another voodoo demon here. Can I get the, can I get the voodoo doll? Did, did either of us grab it? Did I manage to pick it up? Uh, no, I've still only got one on me. I think Lee... Oh, there we go. There's a guide voodoo doll down there. There we go. We managed to get two of them very easily, which is extremely handy. And there's more things coming after us. What, what have I said to upset them all? They're suddenly all coming after us. They were relatively leaving us alone before now, but now they are all just completely charging me down. And I need to be careful here. I'm getting very hurt, and I can't have a, another health potion yet. And oh, careful, Lee. <laughs> that was there nearly, uh, nearly Lee gone. Right, let's have my health potion. Uh, do you want to carry on building across? Uh, I've got a, a few more platforms. I think Lee might have um, run out of platforms. If you grab these, Lee, uh, there's another 99 for you there. And uh, I've still got some more wood, so I can make some more. And I managed to get a load of gold coins as well. I got, uh, I think, was that four or five gold coins? Uh, just from collecting up all of these coins. So while he's uh, building across... Uh, I need to put the health potion there. And what's this? I got a, a Hellbat banner. That's quite cool. I actually managed to get some some slime banners the other day. So I'm going to put a few of them up in uh, Bluey's room. But first, let's go and make a, a whole load more wooden platforms uh, so we can carry on building here. I think we might as well build just to the very edge of the world uh, because that way, in case we're fighting the, the Wall of Flesh for a long time, uh, we're going to have uh, plenty of time to try and take him out. And I'm, I got your back here, Lee. It's all right. I'm going to take all of the demons and I'm going to actually protect you this time. <laughs> well, you can go and uh, uh, carry on building across. And I think he might be out already. Right, okay, we're going to have to switch roles then. You're going to have to protect me and I'm going to go and build across. Actually, I might jump back down again to see if we can find that other shadow chest. So there's uh, a few more platforms for you down there somewhere, Lee. And uh, there's a few more. And uh, here's uh, another 99 as well. Oop, oop, oop. <laughs> they nearly fell down there. So you can carry on building across. I'm going to hop down, oop, down here and uh, see if I can find any more shadow chests. I don't think uh, there's any back here where I've been before. I think this is about where I found the last shadow chest. So let me go and uh, carry on hopping down this way and uh, see if I can find another one and hopefully get something uh, as cool as my my dark lance, which was pretty awesome. And oh, I saw another bone serpent. Did you see that? It kind of just looked like a dark shadow. And oh, I'm right in the bottom of the world down here. Right, let me go and try and climb my way up this trying to avoid all of the, the little pits of lava and to see if we can find any more chests around here. There's a few more vases and stuff. We can get some uh, okay stuff in. And look, there's a there's a, a heart here as well. And there we go. Here's, here's another shadow chest. All right, let me just go and break this. I think I need to use a, a pickaxe to break them now rather than a hammer. There we go. I've got a life crystal there. And uh, here is the, the other shadow chest. But it's probably a good idea to take out the bone serpent before <laughs> I try and have a look in it. And let's see what goodies I'm going to find. I have got... Ooh, I got a, a shoddy flower of fire. 41 magical damage. 
That is crazy. That is a crazy amount of damage. Well, let's check this thing out. I'm getting loads of really cool stuff here. I think that's it up there. Shady. Oh, look at that. I can fire fireballs from a flower. <laughs> Hello, Lee had to come down and see. Look, check this out, Lee. Look at that. That is so cool. It's like a fireworks display. <laughs> I think it might have been slightly inspired by Mario there, having the, the, the fire flower. That is awesome. I want to find more chests. I keep finding such amazing stuff in them. Right, sorry, Lee. If you carry on uh, building across for a little bit, I want I want to go and carry on. Should we see if we can get right to the the edge of the world? Actually, I don't know. We still got uh, quite a, a decent distance to go yet. Have you run out of platforms, Lee? Is that what you're trying to say? Okay, let me let me head up here and let me see if I can get some more platforms. Can I even make it up to there? Can I go high enough? Oh, nearly, nearly. If I need to build up just a tiny bit, and uh, I should be able to to be able to then jump up. If I jump up now. Oh, there we go. Easily managed to, to make it up. Right, defend me for a little bit, Lee. And let me go and make a, a whole load more platforms for us. I love it when you just hold it down and you can just hear it making absolutely millions of them. If I just go and hold it down for ages, and I can see just in the background of the menu everything going after us. Right, let's go take up these demons. And uh, then I'm going to go and throw you a few platforms as my inventory uh, is getting completely filled up here. So there you go. Uh, there's some for you there, Lee. And uh, I got some more coming your way. If I go and grab a, a few more. And so there's more. And there's some more for you there as well, Lee. And let me go and take out this lava slime. <laughs> like, this weapon's, like, powerful. And it's fast. But it's just so difficult to use. Like, it's fine when they're on, like, a flat plane. But if they're, like, above you or flying around like the demons are, uh, then it's uh, really hard to hit them. So if you carry on building for a bit more, Lee, uh, I'll meet up with you in a little bit. And I went, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoo -hoo, that was nearly me gone. That is a very large lake of lava down there and oop just about managed to survive let's run away from these lava slimes i don't feel like facing them and let's see if we can find let's see if we can find one more shadow chest uh, before the end of the video and oh look i found uh, another life crystal though let me go and grab the life crystal if i can uh, there we go i got uh, a life crystal and uh, let's carry on pushing up this way and oop i'm getting very lucky here to be honest with not falling in the lava i keep getting very close uh, but just about being able to to not fall in and let's try out using my shoddy flower of fire and because it's a shoddy one uh, it means that <laughs> it means it's a bit rubbish but it means i should be able to to reforge it and i might be able to to make it into a, an even more powerful one uh, than it is already because it seems to be doing a lot of damage i don't know uh, how much damage it will do against everything down here uh, because they're all kind of fire enemies like I don't know if it will do uh, less damage against them uh, but against like zombies and things it should be really good and I think this weapon's doing nothing against him why can't I hit him oh, I think just because I was too low from him uh, didn't let me hit him anyway let's carry on going along the bottom here and see if there's going to be uh, any more shadow chests before the end. And look, it's weird just walking on nothing, you know, just being on the end of the world. And oh, 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 nearly fell down there, nearly fell down there. I just managed, uh, just about managed uh, there to stay on. And here's another arch demon. I think these are the toughest things there are down here. And lots of lava. Oh, I've got another life crystal, though. I don't really need them so much anymore, but... I guess they're they're still handy to have. They're still pretty rare, so it's always uh, exciting to find one anyway. And I'm getting really hurt here. I think I might stick back to, to using my Night Eds for now, my most powerful weapon. Uh, but let's go and try and uh, pick up this Life Crystal if I can. And let's go after this Arch Demon. Uh, it shouldn't take too long to take him out with my powerful weapon. And I am getting incredibly hurt right now. All right, let's go and try and keep moving across. i still got ages until I can use my, my next health potion, so I do need to be uh, super duper careful. Uh, but I think we're almost... Uh, at the the end of the world going in the in the right direction and uh, Lee seems to be doing a, a good job uh, keeping up with me doing the platforms and no nope, that is me gone I thought it was gonna happen and it's happened now so <laughs> overall despite me burning in lava that was a, a relatively successful trip and uh, I did lose a few gold coins but that doesn't matter too much I got my hellbat banner I managed to get my shoddy flower of fire and uh, my dark lance as well and we built a platform and oh <laughs> there goes Lee as well and we built a platform all the way from here all the way along to there oh no to there almost to the end of the world so we're going to extend that a little bit more and then uh, we're going to go and carry on building towards the left as well and go as far uh, in this direction as we can uh, just in case the wall of flesh goes in that direction and then we're going to go and try and battle him again so uh, thank you very much um lee uh, for all of your amazing help and who's this who's this oh hello hello sir who is this i can't see his name this is this is this is a new guy Okay, I don't know what his name is. I probably don't want to know his name anyway, because I don't want to get too attached. And I think there, Lee's just saying, get out of my room. This is my bedroom. What are you doing in here? <laughs> oh, he can, oh, 
boy, come on. He can spend one night in your room. You, it's just because your room is so nicely. He's just jealous. That's all it is. Anyway, that is the end of this video here. I want to thank you all very much for watching. And I will see you all later. Bye.